Hi everyone, my name is Ivana, a collection specialist with New Mexico Historic Sites, and today we're going to make Noche Buenas, also known as poinsettias, out of corn husks. While filming this video, all proper COVID protocols were taken. For this craft, we'll need corn husks, some scissors, a pencil, and some string. I've already drawn petals on the corn husks. You'll want to make them the same shape, just different sizes. If you notice your husks are brittle or cracking, just let them soak in water for a bit. Are y'all familiar with the story of Noche Buenas? It's a sweet tale that connects the flower to Christmas. The story goes that a young girl who was on her way to Christmas Eve service did not have a gift to present at the altar. Now, once you're done cutting the petals, put them aside. We'll use those in a bit. During her walk to the service, the little girl began gathering various weeds she found alongside the road and formed them into a small bouquet. Although small and not grand, at least she wouldn't arrive to the service empty-handed. So we're cutting four vertical strips of corn husks. Um, we're going to tie each of the strips and form a knot along the center. Once you've completed that, go ahead and gather all four and we're going to tie them together at the base of the knots. We're going to use our string and make sure it's tight. Next, we're going to form our flower, so grab your petals and begin arranging them around the knotted pieces. Where were we in the story? Oh yeah, even though the little girl was embarrassed with her gift, she knew she would be able to arrive at the service with something. When she finally reached the altar, she placed the bouquet near the nativity scene. As she stepped back, the bouquet of weeds turned into beautiful red flowers. In awe of what happened, those around her started calling it a miracle. Since it happened on Christmas Eve, La Noche Buena, those flowers became known as Noche Buenas and have been a staple during this time of year in New Mexico, Texas, and Latin America. Alrighty, so back to the craft. Once you've arranged your petals how you like them, grab your string and tie everything together. Do not hesitate in asking for help if you need that extra hand. I found that wrapping the string multiple times around the base of the petals helps stabilize them and hold them in place. Once it's been tied together, go ahead and make any adjustments to the petals. If you need some extra grip, I'd suggest using some glue to give you that extra support. And don't forget, tie everything tight. And there you have it. A beautiful Noche Buena. If you want to make a red one, the steps are the same. The only step you have to add is to soak the corn husk overnight in water that's been dyed with red food coloring. Thank you so much for watching and happy crafting!